morning and welcome to this short video on what I title is the market uptrend imminent now let us watch the chart and see where the market is going because I believe that as we prepare for the coming year uh, on masterclass on June 29 we need to understand where is the market is now and where the market is going and we need to look at this at different what time frame I'm starting looking at what the market chart what on a daily time frame weekly and what and monthly to give us where the market is going and the factors that are going to drive you no know, expected uh, change in the market right as i said is market uptrend imminent now we have seen that the market have corrected over the over the months we saw it started in the month of uh, you no know, in the month of uh, april we saw it you no know, in may but you no know, the last week of may since the market and that uh, you no know, mantra that sell in may and come back about was defy in the month of May, we we'll see the trend that market had been on what on a side trending mode or consolidation. If you look at this chart here now, that's that this chart from here to here that the market has been what on a consolidation after the main rally. You can see that this is the week that turned the history of the market for the month of uh, you no know, May that may sustain the uptrend we have seen for almost five years. You know, but now the month of June, if May close marginally uh, uh, green in this month of June, is going to collect in green again. And this will give us an insight what we should expect what in the month of uh, July, which is the first month of the third quarter of the year. And we are coming to position for work for 90 days in the quarter. Also, we have seen the performance of the stock that we recommended in the you know, last master class because of the down market. You now, we have seen that there is kind of oscillation. And that also, after that, you now coming back, that means those stocks were recommended for the month this month of June, uh, of June before, because this is the month of what we'll be dressing at the uh, uh, end of the quarter, was we'll spread that before the master class, most of those stocks that, uh, you know, exactly, you know, 60 to 70 percent of the club will eat our target before the end of uh, this month, looking at what, where the chart is going and also where the market is going because of what, that end of the quarter, end of the month, end of the quarter, and end of the first half of the year, you know, the position of portfolio will reflect more on the market towards the end of that will not impact most of the stock. But then the ones that no meet, you know, there's no need of it to panic or you just need to go your position because after entering to the third quarter of the year, we hope to expect to see what changes. For me, investors should understand this market. You know, that is why you know why we are in the market. When we are taking 90 position. You know that it's a period of night, and also when you see that factors that attracted the into any position are still very much. You don't need to panic, or you don't need to extend your work, your waiting period. That's why I said you can't put the place of patient in equity investment to anywhere. It's very, very vital. After we apply your technical analysis, your fundamental analysis, even your common sense has been you no know, mentioned in the market recently, and at the same time, you no, know, all techniques we have you no know, one is very, very key is patient, and this patient will come when. What attracted into a particular store remain intact at that period. That's why we must pay attention to what to what we want to discuss this morning because we're going to help us to prepare for the coming master class. And I believe that at the end of this uh, you know, video and also at the end of the master class that is coming up on the May 29, you will see where your portfolio is headed. You must learn how to beat the market, the trade off top of the market. These are the things that are going to be very sure it's not a strategy, you no know, trading secret of the you know, professionals that are in the market. These are people that have more than 20 years experience. You no, know, these are these are the downs on the market. I'm going to share you how to look at and navigate between the the NGS and other markets. You know that we have. You know we have a commodity market. We have a, you know now um, you know NSD which is over, over the counter. A lot of them. How can you navigate them to steal the money? That's why we must come and see that these uh, bull and bear fish that we have seen. How is able to take advantage of it because the oscillation and the pullbacks are still opportunity. For us to put them forward for the second half of the year, and we must take advantage of what, what we have seen in the market. And also, I will tell you, as far as seeing that uh, there are some factors that tell you what will likely to happen. You no, know, these factors, for example, we are seeing that you know after tomorrow meeting in in, uh, in the US, we now know what the Fed, if the global mature banks or the major banks of the world are cutting rates, automatically it tells you that the source of funds or, uh, or funds become cheaper in those economy. And also, you know. As we are seeing more opportunity here because we are seeing that our economy, our market rate is still high. That will attract fund. And that fund coming, you know, that even when we are supposed to see a change in fundamental reality, when they finally increase the you know, wages for Nigeria here, which also will impact on inflation, I would say it's going to also impact on what? On the potential power of the people. You need to understand all this. And that will also impact positive on the companies. That, that means we expect that consumption will increase, even also savings will increase because 
if you have more, you can consume more, you can have equally same. These are the things I want to pass that like, going to the future, if it happens, it has to uh, at the time, we might see what high inflation. And when there's high inflation, you know that, you know, it puts a lot of uh, physical market what in red. But if we're seeing this company that, you know, that, that are going to put this number because of increased demand of their product that also support their price and their payout you see that equity market will still have an edge but i believe that we need to look at the chart first for us to see where the market is going we don't need to you know panic because i tell you that anything that you are doing without knowledge you are guessing but when you invest with knowledge you sleep well and work well when others are panicking you are not panicking because you are taking decision based of what on knowledge and insight and also with also confirmation or less enough for others Yes, you can see that the government has 100% control of the market. No, that means we also have a plan. That's why we have a word. Our surplus in anything is very, very important that you must have your stop loss, even your buy stop, uh, buy limit, your sell limit, everything should be in your plan. That you have your buy range, you have your stop loss, you have your, you know, your reason for your profit target. All these are in your plan. You must take a note of them. You are starting from the daily chart. Now you can see that this is the chart that I was saying, well, I was going to show first. If you look at this chart, this is a daily chart. I said that the market has broken out from what the side trending you no know, trend we have seen or range market we have seen after the rally last rally in the week of uh, may you can see that this is a daily chart but the good thing that you can see that all the lines are here all the lines are, that are different you no know, are different um, moving average at all but the markets are above it now on a daily chart it says you signal that market is guarded another momentum and also money flow index as at monday is feeding almost 67.1 you can see it here which is good and Magdi, you can see from here, Magdi is positive. Look at where Magdi crossed over. You can see here, you know, it has been positive, and you can see the trend as went in the uptrend. These are the things that also that you will need to look at when we are when we are what when we are investing. It's very very important. Look at the momentum and of which we particularly explain. But if you look at if I take this, uh, this, uh, if I take this, uh, this uh, chart now that you can see. Let me just draw it here so you can see something of what I'm seeing here. You see that this is the consolidation you know, stage of the market. You can see it here. Fine. You can see this is the consolidation of what market are broken out already on Monday. On what you can see front entry on a big volume. I want to confirm today to see where the market is going. But if the trend is sustained, I will see a positive number that will give us a right signal that the market has rebounded and what we expect. That's why I said you have to position because factors that will support the market in you know to remain off are coming. And you must be in this that's why you must enter earlier before that singles the world. Those earnings that will come at the end of all the first half of the year. You need to take advantage. But don't forget that it is sentiment that the chart will select with this candlestick assessment. I see that this says that this is what a hundred percent buy position of the market as at yesterday. You can see that Friday was in that you know, we can see see some movement here before we now see you know two days up now. You can see for me it's a good one to give an example. But also if you take your your trend line and draw from here and drop from here, you can see this an uptrend also you should also notice an uptrend that is also ongoing. You can see that an uptrend that is ongoing on a daily chart. Yes, you can see that other indicators here are looking good, are looking good, you no know, compared to then if you quickly want to look at the, the daily the weekly chart. Who give us a clear direction also you can see that as from the month of uh, you no know, april you see the market correction you can see that market pullback you no know, come to the month of may you can see before market try to rebound now but it's ending open the week on the world on a positive note but you can see that here we are seeing that the magdi is still you no know, a bit what a bit bearish i see that it's bearish there but the good news is that you can see that market has already ascending again on a weekly chart once this red one turned and break out now you can see this when the market you now become very you can see where it crossed now once where it cross again that will give you a sign but as you speak that the short term time frame put is the daily i give no sign that market is looking up and also if you look at here after market resisted decline this point because the market is making a new leap in up direction but the money flow for a weekly is still flat below 50 around the 48 for me these are the things that we look at for me there's no cause for alarm but that's, that's what i'm going to look at let's look at the monthly the monthly chart. If you look at the monthly chart, you can see that for the month of May, after we saw a pullback in the month of April, May rebounded and June is also starting on a positive note. But you look at the money flow, money flow that either even as well, you know, fund left the month, um, the market in the month of, you know, of, of April, but in May and June, I can see that fund is coming back. That is, and also, MACD is very, very also bullish as you speak here. This is something that you should look at because it gives you more insight on what, on what to do. As you speak now, market have shown sign of. Uh, no, an uptrend that we need to also watch. But good thing is that market are remain in an uptrend for what for the month of uh, 
for the month the last week of uh, may to what they did you can see that trend was seen even on the monthly chart you can also see but let's look at this factor that will drive this market you know, in the new you know, in the new second half of the of the year i will tell you that the earnings is one of the part that will drive them and also the major news and also the activities also in the banking sector to provide liquidity and also i, I tell you that if finally this uh, um um no new bill new which is signed into law we we'll start seeing the changes and also government also have declared emergency in the food sector things are coming and also that you no know, insecurity is that you no know, government trying to make more effort to reduce insecurity we we'll start seeing little changes in the frame because i believe that the cpn by now should know that their rate hike has not really impact anything on the work on the inflation that means they need to change their their, 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 their strategy Fine, it's good that anywhere you say you know, other smart technology we have seen we are high interest rates have you know imparted their inflation. But here, the more the higher, the more we are seeing you know inflation hitting a new high. It's a call for what for the review of what of uh, of uh, our policy direction and also government they try to give a uh, open you no know, uh, kind of reduce tax for 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 composite also fiscal policy. Good one. It depends on what and also open door for what for importation of. Uh, Rise. This I think that also will likely change. I will see a down impact in the market positively. You know, if things start to change around and costs start coming down and companies start making more sales with the end, we expected the increase in you know in earning power of Naya because I tell you inflation have eaten up you no know, the potential power of Naya. I would say we have weak potential power, which also are reflected on not. also our GDP is a pointer where you should also be looking at sector that contributed to that uh, growth that just by that we are seeing a sign of contraction. See, there are some sectors that are contributed in the local sector. These are things that we should be doing now as a vessel. I believe that during the, 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 the master class, a clear revision, a clear review will be given and also stop to, to, you know, to stick in. Like I said in the previous class, that there are two stocks that will give you 100% or even more you know, in a year. That means 90 days position, um, one has, one, one has, uh, 334 position, but you can achieve this uh, 100% in 90 days, in 180 days. But we are giving you this time so that you can also have the last month, but we can hit it within 90 days. That means in the period of what of the master, uh, the period for the third uh, quarter before the fourth quarter, possibly that you get the period. Others that will give you 50 percent, but 8 percent also will be given, so I can also position. For me, there's no cause for love. Market has its faces, and that faces must understand it. The, and also, it is not win win all the time in the market, but when you're winning game, it's more than you're losing game. That is where you will smile to the back. I believe that with this little chat where we look forward to see you in what in the comment uh, masterclass. See you and enjoy the rest of your trading day. Bye.